In today's class, we'll be looking at Flash Working Environment, Lecture 2. Let us start our today's lesson. We'll be looking at Flash Environment. So this is how exactly your Flash Environment looks like when you click on the Flash button. So in the beginning you see a menu bar so where Micromedia Flash Professional 8 is written. Then you have a minimize button to make it to minimize. Then we have a restore button. Then we have a close button. So this is an application window and this is a working area of Flash. So we'll start with one at a time. So the small buttons that you see here are toolbar. These are the options, buttons that we can use to create animations. So all the animations will be created on the stage. So this is a working area where we create animations. So this is a working area of Flash. You can create, you can draw anything here and you can pull it down to the stage. The most important thing of Flash is you can work with layers. You can, you can add as many layers as possible. So this will be helpful when you are working with many layers. When you want to animate, when you want to show a background, when you want to add sound, you can create multiple layers. One layer for background, one layer for sound, one layer for animation so like this we can go for creating multiple layers so this is layer and when you double click it you can add you can change the name of a layer so just above the layers you three you see three options so this option will uh, make the contents of the stage visible and invisible and uh, if you don't want to make changes when you are working with multiple layers, you can lock a layer. So once you click a la on this, this layer gets locked. So it doesn't allow you to make any changes, unexpected changes. So when you want to zoom your stage, you can click on this. Right now it is 40%. You can increase the size or you can zoom the size of your animation. The other panels are color panel and a behavior pan panel which will be going in detail when we deal, when we start working with animations. At the bottom you will find details of the stage. The size of the stage default size is 550 into 400 pixels. So 550 is the height and 400 is the width of this stage. Then you have an option for publish. So this will use when you are done with your application will publish it. Then you can change the background of uh, the stage and uh, frame rate. So frame rate is the number of frames that you will use in an animation. And here we now we come to the very important part of Flash. That is a timeline. The Flash basically works with keyframes and frames. So you can add as many number of frames as possible on this keyframe. This is the main area where we start working with Flash. And to add a layer, we'll click on this button. With a small plus, this button will help you to add one more layer like for instance you have layer one if you click this it will add another layer so this layer this will add a motion guide so which will be learning in our uh, further classes if you want to delete a layer you can click on this small dustbin like icon okay so just for now we have seen what an menu bar is what are layers, toolbar, working area, timeline, how to zoom, what is a stage, 
and what are the different panels you have and the properties panel let us go ahead and see the timeline so let us uh, understand the timeline in a more elaborate manner because this is the main part where you'll be working with flash so as just now as we have discussed so if you click on this button it will add a new layer and the very next button to it is a motion guide so this is one of the advanced features of flash which we'll be learning in detail so the third button will insert a flash folder layer folder and if you want to delete a layer you can click on this that will permanently delete a layer so in this case we have two layers layer 1 and layer 2 so this I like short icon when you click or generally by default it will be unchecked if you check it will hide the contents of an slide or sorry contents of the stage then you have the lock and unlock option then you have uh, a button that outlines the layers and this is a playhead so when you are creating an animation like so suppose you have 15 slides so this playhead will move from slide 1 or stage 1 to 15 showing you where exactly uh, you are in in which keyframe you are in and this is timeline header then we have frame view then frame rate so by default it is 12 frames per second this frame rate if you want to make a slower animation animation which runs at a slow speed you can change this frames per second number and this shows the status of the frame right now the playhead is in first frame and the, this shows the elapsed time how much time the animation has taken or what's the total time of the animation now that we have looked at the basics of flash we'll go into more details of exactly how to use this timeline <coughs> 